do you have avoidant or do you have attachment issues? This is the big thing that everyone's talking about now when it comes to psychotherapy and, and counseling and, and how do we beat, overcome, transcend? How do we accept our traumatic past and move on to get to places where we can uh, bring in the right partners and have the relationships we want? And I wanted to talk about this because a lot of my clients they're trying to figure out whether or not they're avoidant. So if they have avoiding issues, whether or not it stems from childhood or some other kind of environmental or social factor, or whether or not they have attachment issues, like do they get too attached to people too fast? Or, you know, based upon the former, do they struggle opening up? Do they have masks and, and, and walls that we have to kind of break down in order to get to the truth of who they are. I'm reading Gabor Mate's book right now, In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts, which talks all about addiction and the correlations between childhood traumatic experiences, but also just those environmental and social factors and loneliness is a big one that everyone's talking about right now. And I wanted to talk to you about attachment. Attachment is the drive for physical and emotional closeness with other people. It ensures infant survival by bonding infant to mother and mother to infant. Throughout life, the attachment drive impels us to seek relationships and companionship, maintains family connections, and helps build community. When endorphins lock onto opiate receptors, they trigger the chemistry of love and connection, helping us to be the social creatures we are. Attachment is very, very important. This is the main reason why I am filming this vlog right now, it's because Specifically, I find it within counseling that people seem to have a certain level of shame around this attachment or avoidant idea. They say, oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got attachment issues or I've got avoidant issues. And we all have those. They're not issues. They're, they're, they're very, very important parts of what it means to be human. As Gabor Mate is talking about, we attach ourselves to people that make us feel warm and welcomed and it, it helps build community. And it helps out survival because we evolved as social creatures to adapt to the environment, figure things out together. We don't do well with loneliness. When we're talking about uh, avoidant issues, again, they're not necessarily issues because we, we want to avoid people that aren't going to be good for our development, our psychological, our physical development. So we, ha we have this necessary kind of run towards pleasure, run away from pain mechanism in the brain. And I find fundamentally that when I'm talking to people in a counseling relationship and even what's happening on YouTube and social media right now, there's this big wave and push you know, to find out whether or not you have attachment issue, issues and whether or not you have avoidant issues. And I hope this kind of unpacking of what it really means from an evolutionary perspective helps you to realize that it's not actually an issue. You might have some kind of adverse effect or you know, you might be triggered or traumatized to move away from certain things because, for example, love doesn't feel familiar to you if you grew up with emotionally unavailable parents and things like that. But the fact that we have these mechanisms within us in and of itself isn't an issue. It's, it's part of what it means to be human. The question you have to ask yourself is, do I find myself running away from people that actually might be good for me or do I find myself attaching to people that aren't good for me? That's where the word issue can kind of come into play. But again, it's not necessarily an issue. It's how you've evolved in, in based upon what you had when you were very young. You know, one of the things we know is that the brain uh, is 90% developed by the age we're three, but it continues to grow. So as soon as we're born, it continues to grow as fast as it did when it was in the womb. You know, from an evolutionary perspective, because the brain got so big, we were basically birthed, underdeveloped, and then we had to grow because, you know, the size of the hips, if the, if the hips were any bigger for, for, for women, um, they'd have issues walking. So we basically kind of had to sacrifice um, full development. Horses can, can run, or at the very least walk, um, from the day they're born. We don't get there until we're about a year and a half old because walking, you know, involves a lot of complex motor control from the brain and all that sort of thing. And we just don't possess that, that kind of skill and development up until we're about a year and a half. So we've got a long way to go as soon as we're born. What that means is that from zero to three, we're still taking in so much growth. It's insane how much we're taking in. And if we are overwhelmed with uncertainty, emotional dysregulation, um, you know, all of these things that kind of comprise trauma, that is how that brain 
is going to mold and see the world for a very, very, very long time, perhaps irreversibly so, unless we do a shit ton of work. It's really, really difficult. So this kind of awareness is really, really important. When it comes back to attachment and avoidant issues, what we want to try to think of is, are they issues or are they how you've had to evolve based upon what you were given and experienced at the time? And I hope that that helps you reduce the shame around this, this kind of, do I have this or do I have this or what am I or what's my trauma? How does it make me do these things? Understanding this from, a, from an evolutionary perspective helps you know, take the weight off your shoulders. So it's not so much you might have attachment issues or have avoidant issues but it's just how you've had to evolve based upon what you had. I hope that gives you some uh, some cool tips there and just some unpacking and you know reducing that shame. I'll see you in the next video.